Hi, in this lesson, we're going to learn about Booleans. Meet George Boole, an English-born mathematician, philosopher, logician, and consider one of the founders of computer science. Boolean logic is named after George Boole, who was instrumental in the field of symbolic logic. But what is a Boolean? A Boolean refers to a value that is either true or false. While Booleans can only be one of these two values, they are widely used to control the state of many real-world scenarios. For example, we could create a variable called has leaves that stores a Boolean to tell us when a tree has leaves. So in the late spring, summer, fall, the variable has leaves would be a tree with leaves or a value true. In the colder months, the has leaves is false. Booleans can be used to represent a switch. When the light is on, is light on is true. When the light is off, is light on is false. Booleans can be used as flags to indicate whether we should display something on a screen. For example, an online shop might use a Boolean to keep track of when an item is in stock. When the variable is in stock is true, it shows the add to cart button. When false, it shows that it is sold out. These values may seem small now, but you'll see them a lot as we dig deeper into control structures. Great, now let's explore some examples of how we can use Booleans in our code. So we start with our main function, which we'll call at the end in order to execute the code. And we're going to let the variable logged in equal true. And because it's a Boolean, we're not going to put quotation marks around it or anything like that. Then we're going to print to the console. And we're going to print a statement that says logged in is a. And we'll end it there with a semicolon. And then we'll print another line to the console that's going to basically call the type of for variable logged in. And what this will do is print to the console what type of variable logged in is. Next, we'll also set up a second variable. So we're going to let logged in string also equal true. But we're not going to add a Boolean variable here. This is a string variable, so we'll want to make sure that we put quotation marks around that and a semicolon at the end. And we'll do again, we'll print to the console logged in string is a, and we'll print that as one line. And then on a second line, we'll also print to the console what type of variable logged in string is. So we'll use type of and then we'll call that variable logged in string. And that will print to the console what type of variable logged in string happens to be. And then at the very end, we're also going to print one more line to the console. And we're going to print a statement that says, is the user logged in as a question? And we'll add the variable logged in to that statement at the very end with a semicolon. Let's run our code and we'll see that the first variable is a boolean, the second one is a string, and then it prints our final statement for us. Now it's your turn.